Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to um, identify the feasible region as well as maximize this linear programming for uh, determining the minimum for the objective function c is equal to x plus 2y. All right. So to do that, what we're basically going to do is we need to be able to graph each and every one of these inequalities and identify the feasible region. So I'm simply going to graph over here, and I'll just write these equations. So the first one I have is x plus 2y is greater than or equal to 8. So to go ahead and graph this, I will solve this for uh, y to graph it in the slope-intercept form. Okay, Then divide by 2. And I have y is greater than or equal to negative 1 half x plus 4. All right, so. Let's go ahead and graph that function first here. So I'm going to go up to 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And now my slope is telling me to go down 1 over 2. So down 1 over 2. Down 1. Oops. Down 1 over 2. All right, that's like right there. Down 1 over 2. Jeez, oh man. Down 1 over 2. Now, this says y is greater than or equal to. So again, I'm going to use uh, my test point. I'll use 0, 0. And I'll just plug in my test point to determine if I'm shading up or down. And I can see 0 is greater than or equal to um, 4, which that is false. So therefore, my feasible region is going to be facing, or facing up above this boundary line. Uh, my next two, y is greater than. y is greater than or equal to. OK. Um, yeah, so I have that all set. And that is false, so we're going up. Then my next two is y is greater than 2. So to graph that line, or x is greater than 2, so I'm going to go over to 2, graph this line. And since x is greater than, that's going to be all the values that are going to be going to the right. So that's going to be feasible regions that are going over to the right. And the last one, y is greater than 0. And that is going to be my y-axis. And values that are greater than my y-axis are going to be going up. So therefore, you can see that my feasible region here is going to be all this area, continually going up, continually going over. And there's three, um, uh, actually only two vertices that I, tip, that I have here is right here and right here. And those two vertices are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 comma 0, as well as 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, as well as 2 comma 3. So now to go ahead and test these in my objective functions, I'm going to take these two um, vertices and I'm going to plug them into my objective function to be able to determine what is going to provide the minimum cost um, for my feasible region. So therefore, I have. Da, 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 da. 6 comma 0. So I'll say c equals 6 plus 2 times 0. And that is c equals 6. And then my other one, I'll plug in c is equal to 2 plus 2 times 3, where c equals 8. So therefore, this value is going to be larger than this value. And again, I'm looking for my minimal point, which will be 6 comma 0. Thanks.